Welcome to the Rifter Reviews, and today, the Rifter Reviews, the Fanana Sun Fan Fanan. I'm assuming it's kind of like, would you get? I'm assuming it's kind of like banana, so it's like Fanana Sun. Uh, the Fanana Sun Tactical Sling Backpack. So, first, I guess I can show you my old bag. Which, this is what I was taking to work. It had quite a few pockets on the inside. Um, little sleeve. It's kind of nice. Had some separate compartments, but I always felt myself shoving things in there and it got kind of heavy and the stitching started to fail right around where the handhold was because I handheld it quite a bit. And, I don't know, the material is just kind of weak, so, peace. So, this is the Fanana Sun Sling Backpack. Sorry, the Fanana Sun Tactical Sling Backpack. Uh, it is approximately 10 by 14 by 5, so uh, 10 by 14 by 5 inches. This is made of 600D nylon. I don't know what that is. Sounds impressive, and it seems to be very sturdy. There's the standard handhold on top of the bag, like any backpack. Uh, and again, this is a sling backpack, so it's got one uh, sling instead of two shoulder slings, for like a standard backpack. These zipper pulls are made of 550 cord, which some people are gonna call it paracord but in my experience it's actually called 550 cord which fun fact the breaking weight of a single piece of this is 550 pounds and that's why it's actually called 550 cord it feels just like 550 cord but I'm used to seeing it in green this pack also has the wide sling strap um, and it's surprisingly comfortable to wear usually when you pack a lot of weight in these things and you don't have, and you have that skinny strap, it's just crap. I mean, it's surprisingly comfortable to wear. Also, I believe they call it an ambidextrous strap. You can put it on the right or the left side, your choice, and you can switch your little secondary strap too. Although it can be a pain to switch that out, but you can still do it if you want to. Four main zipper compartments. It's got, your small one on top, which I've got a bunch of cables in. You've got the second one under the small one, which I have tools and different recording devices in, uh, cameras. You've also got some straps in here to keep things in one spot. main zipper compartment uh, you've got you've got a slot for a uh, laptop tablet uh, anything flat you've got a small zipper compartment here you also got another pouch for uh, or slot for tablet or something else flat I haven't you I'm not using that one yet and then you've also got this fourth zipper compartment on the outside. I've got two big spare batteries uh, in there for recording or to charge my phone. There's also there's also a small slot right here which I haven't really figured out what that is for. I don't I wouldn't know what to put there. Maybe a knife of some kind. I mean, this is a tactical bag. I'm using it for everyday use. I mean, it's not like I'm going into the desert anymore or the jungle. So I don't know exactly what you would put there. There's also a concealed pocket underneath the strap. And it's got a snap. And you can put a ton of stuff in there. Uh, you can conceal carry something in there if you want. Me, I've got a bunch of tools in there. And surprisingly enough, they... They don't fall out. I thought I was gonna have problems with them falling out. Of course, if you flip the bag upside down, they're all gonna fall out, but 
how often do you actually flip the bag upside down unless it tumbles. Uh, there's, con there's a compression strap, it's a Y compression strap on the top and you can put whatever you want, some kind of um, rolled up mat if you are going into the woods. There's a, another pocket right here, which I don't know if you can see that, but there is a little slot there for water bottle. Uh, this bottom part of the compression strap here, that's for another thing. Uh, also behind here, there's a little, oh, so I guess that's a belt loop. So there's a little belt loop here. It's got Velcro. Uh, you can thread your belt through it. And I think that just gets to the small of your back a little bit better. Uh, I don't really have a use for it unless I'm going into the woods. And let's face it, I'm not going to the woods that often. I do like to hike, but I just, I don't get the opportunity that much anymore. The single best part about this bag is the molly system and if you don't know what a molly system is i don't know why you're looking up a tactical sling bag for those of you that don't know what a molly system is on a molly system um i don't know if it's still standard in the army now but uh, when i was in we had the molly system and it was relatively new but there's all these little loops that you can see my thumb sticking through it and they come with well, they don't come with it. Like this doesn't come with it, but there's all kinds of accessories that you can weave through these loops and it makes it really sturdy on there so they don't flap around. Uh, you have some on the back right here. Also have some on the side. You have some on this side. And you also have a few right here on the top of the strap. So this bag is extremely expandable. So you can e expand the carrying capabilities of this pack it's actually rather genius. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna like this bag because it seems like a really cheap bag, but um, picked it up for $32.99 on Amazon. Pretty decent find. Oh, there's also some more molly straps down at the very bottom on the sides. I didn't even see that. So yeah, I mean, there's tons of expandability on this it's a modular system what I do not like about this bag and for a tactical bag it was a really stupid move but the plastic D rings they don't feel very sturdy I haven't had any of them break but I just I don't I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. They just, they don't feel sturdy. Uh, like this, this plastic carabiner, I literally have no use for that. I mean, I could attach my keys to it, but honestly, I don't, I don't trust that. I would, I keep my keys in my pocket. So, cause I don't want to lose them. And I just, if you get that snagged on something, I mean, it is really thick plastic, but I just, I don't trust it. Final thoughts on this product. I mean, I've seen I've seen some reviews on Amazon that complain about inferior stitching and material. I haven't run into that, so I mean, five stars for me. Uh, again, I really just wish they would have used metal D rings um, for this, but I guess you can't have everything. I mean, you probably can if you go for like a hundred and fifty dollar bag, but. It's pretty decent, $32.99 and a lot of expandability. Uh, again, the Molly system is great. I know I hated the Molly system when I was in the service, but I really like it now because I don't have somebody yelling at me, telling me to do something and put it on quickly. Uh, my old bag did not have enough room in it. This one more than makes up for it. Uh, and I really like it. So totally recommend this product. We'll see how long it goes until it fails, and then maybe I'll give you an update. But I've had this bag for roughly a week, and everything's fine with it. So, thank you for watching. I'm The Rifter, and this is The Rifter Reviews. Like, share, and subscribe. Click one of the videos if you want to see more. 
click on the face to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.